It's audition night, a night full of hope, expectations, and nervous jitters for a group of young skaters aspiring to a spot in the Ice Capades Ensemble, and perhaps someday, a chance at the featured spotlight. Sheila. That's your mom's signature or whatever. Can you sign right there, too, of course, as artist? Getting a chance to audition for the Ice Capades is the easy part. Open auditions are held in every city the show performs in on a Friday night right after the evening show. All the skaters have to do is show up with their skates, some talent, and a showbiz smile. If you see this pose, everyone should look nice when they pose. And this is for someone else. Once the skaters have checked in, they're put through their paces on the ice by the show's line captain. She has the skaters perform a series of moves designed to demonstrate the level of their skating skill and also their ability to pick up the difficult steps they'll do in the show. The audition isn't an easy one, and it's enough to rattle the nerves of the most seasoned amateur. I try to tell them to relax and just rely on their instincts. Most of them have been skating for probably 10 years or more, and they should just relax and just be natural. Do, do what they, comes naturally. Mm -hmm. They have to look positive while they're skating around, like they know how to do it. Even if they don't, you know, it shows that they have a presence, you know, and the audience would appreciate looking at them. While the skaters try to do their best on the ice, they're being carefully scrutinized by a number of critical people. Some of the show skaters stay after the performance to see if any of the prospective rookies make the final cut. But the opinion that means the most is that of the performance director. It's her watchful eye that determines who ultimately gets one of the few open spots in the Ice Capades Ensemble. The main thing I look for is uh, the, the look of the, per of the skater out on the ice. Um, and then uh, I look for skating abilities. I look at um, the ease they have in performing the tasks we ask of them. Um, we do basic steps and I, and I see how they're performed, how their body moves, it, if it moves with ease or, or if it's stiff and, it ha and uh, they have difficulty with it. The way they carry themselves, the way they project themselves, if they're able to have fun with it and sell it, that's what it's about over here. It's different from amateur skating, but um, some, uh, with some skaters it comes very easily. It was a good audition for this young skater. As soon as she turns 17, she'll be offered a spot in the Ice Capades Ensemble. And of course, every skater has a proud mother. I'm looking forward to her going off into a show and going and seeing the country and um, just gaining a lot of experience from it. I'm very excited for her. How hard is the first year for a skater? Um, I would say it's hard, especially if they've never been away from home. It's, uh, we become a group, we become a family, but um, it's not, you know, it's, it's not, it's your, mo your mother and father aren't there, your, uh, a lot of securities aren't, aren't, uh, aren't around you as much. Um, it's, uh, it's a learning process, it's being, uh, being out on the road, changing from city to city, uh, and it's working, it's a job, so I would say uh, most of them adapt very well. Some of them um, are just really aren't, uh, aren't the road, you know, being on the road type, but in general, they, um, they have a good time. Even though we're all together all the time, you, you, inside there's something always missing, your family and stuff. They get very lonely. Um, you'll have a day where uh, you'll just cry or something or just look really down. Your friends are ask you what's wrong and it's like oh I just I just today I just dreamt of something and I really miss my family today it's it's hard despite the loneliness some people experience on the road there's also plenty of good times fun and laughter and a good portion of that laughter on the ice is provided by the comedy team of Dave and Joey two comedians carrying on a family tradition we grew up on the road, actually, and our fathers are famous Biddy and Batty clowns, and uh, they skated together for about 25 years. Um, and we grew up, and basically, just by watching them perform, uh, it just we kind of inherited the you know the want to do it, and you know we skated around on the ice with chairs, and you know the falling came naturally. It's hard to stay inside the lines, you know. It's like coloring in a coloring book. You have to paint within the lines, and if you go over, you know, and get points taken off. Our fathers were great, a great help to us in in uh, helping us put together the act, and uh, but they never pushed us to to do comedy. It was like, what do you guys want to do? And uh, they were there for us when we wanted to do it, and it was very touching. <laughs> Most people are a little superstitious, and skaters are no exception. 
Which brings us to the question, what the heck is a goodie? A goodie. A goodie is something that we do um, backstage before a number or before the show, and it you just it's something that you both have in common, maybe an event that happened or a TV show that you really like, and you just say it. You just say your little little things that you have, and then you say, do a goodie, and then that's it. And then that's supposed to wish each other a good show. Do you have a goodie? And can you say it? <laughs> No, I don't think I can say it. <laughs> Icecapades is on the road for nine months out of every year, and judging by the trunks in this hotel lobby, Icecapades skaters don't just visit each city they perform in, they basically move in. So just how do you make yourself feel at home when you live out of a suitcase? You open up your suitcase and you grab every piece of clothing and you throw it all over the room and, uh, you know, hey, that's home. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I don't, I don't like packing my bags and unpacking my bags. And, um, but I do it. And after I get gets packed or unpacked, I'm back in happy mood again. Some Icecapade skaters manage to find a little love and romance on the road. It's a very lonely life if you don't have somebody on the road. And I think thanks to having Tom, I mean, I've been able to go through a lot of different emotions, you know, and still stick through it. But um, whereas I might have left by now. How does that feel when you know that you've got the audience in the palm of your hand? I don't think there's any better feeling in the world. Uh, when you can do a comedy act and, or, or any other type of performing, I would imagine, and look into the audience and see a live face looking you right in the eye, smiling, you know that they're not thinking about anything but what they're watching. And that to me is just the most incredible feeling in the world. You've, inside, it's so much easier. You just feel like this is so easy and I get paid for this.